With this calm before the 2024 storm, I thought it was important to remind people that it doesn't matter who Republicans nominate to be their selection for President of the United States, the media will turn them into a devil-horned crazy person who, if you vote for, you are voting for the end of democracy. At the moment, it looks like the two obvious options, Donald Trump or the Florida governor, Ron DeSantis. And we know they spent four years giving it to Trump, and in the past few months, they've been trying to turn Ron DeSantis into the don't say gay, Disney-hating guy, as opposed to the guy who turned the state that was so divided in the year 2000 that pregnant chads were a thing. Well, the chads had a baby, and Ron DeSantis was that baby because he won the state by a whopping 20 points in November of last year. But this discussion on CNN proves my point. It doesn't matter who Republicans nominate. It's the fact that they're not Democrats that means the media will hate them. Whether the nominee is Donald Trump or Ron DeSantis or even Nikki Haley, that that would pose an existential threat to democracy itself, which is what we've seen. It doesn't matter who the Republicans nominate. That person's going to be called everything that they would call Donald Trump, whether it's DeSantis or anybody else. Democrats always do this. George W. Bush, Mitt Romney, John McCain, Donald Trump. They were all monsters. They, they, were, oh, all, yep. they were all history's greatest monsters. That's right. And to drive home the point, remember how the same media that loves Mitt Romney now because he hates Donald Trump hated Mitt Romney when he was running against Barack Obama? The same media that said that John McCain was one of the greats of all time but shouldn't win the presidency again over Barack Obama. The point is, if you have GOP or R after your name, the media will come no matter what you actually believe or actually stand for.